Today we'll discuss the regional and strategic significance of U.S. economic relationships with our friends to the North and South, Canada and Mexico. I'm glad to have such esteemed, esteemed witnesses before us today to talk about this important issue. Their presence speaks to the high value that Mexico and Canada place on their relations with our country and highlights the collective understanding that the people of our three countries prosper because of the close economic ties we have developed over the last several decades. Since the North American Free Trade Agreement entered into force, our merchandise trade with Mexico and Canada has tripled. Canada is now our largest market for the exports of U.S. goods. Mexico is second, and Mexico and Canada now account for 34 percent of all U.S. exports. The U.S. is the largest foreign investor in both Canada and Mexico. In fact, the U.S. represents nearly half of all the foreign investment in Canada today. Likewise, for both Mexico and Canada, the U.S. is the largest destination for foreign investment. We have deficits with Mexico and Canada in trade and goods, but we enjoy a surplus with both countries when it comes to services. We can and should periodically review our trade balance with Mexico and Canada to see if improvements can be made without losing sight of the importance of mutual trade for our citizens and businesses. At 5,500 miles, the United States border with Canada is the longest and most peaceful and international peaceful international boundary in the world, a truly remarkable fact that we often take for granted. Canadian troops have stood shoulder to shoulder with U.S. troops in numerous conflicts. We cooperate closely not only on a national level, but our respective states and provinces often have closer connections than most sovereign countries. Canada is truly among America's closest friends and allies. With Mexico, we are making the North American region the envy of the world in energy development. Canada and the United States deliberately reached out together to include Mexico in our bilateral economic partnership. We understood then that Mexico had its own challenges to address, and working together, we were able to tackle very different, very difficult issues together, from migration to trafficking persons and drugs to shared water resources to security because of the close ties that we have built together. That collaboration developed in large part because of our pursuit of shared economic prosperity. Our businesses cooperating across borders have helped raise common concerns and cultivate common approaches to solving problems. The North American Regional Partnership is our most important relationship in the world. And we are here today to reflect on how much these relations affect our three countries. I want to thank our distinguished panel for sharing their insights and recognize, well, not recognize Senator Cardin. Uh, I will when he gets here for opening comments when, if he does want to make them then.